on February 29, 1964, on his 100th day in office, the President of the United States, Lyndon B. Johnson, made the following statement at a formal news conference. The United States has successfully developed an advanced experimental jet aircraft, the A-11, which has been tested in sustained flight at more than 2,000 miles an hour and at altitudes in excess of 70,000 feet. The performance of the A-11 far exceeds that of any other aircraft in the world today. The development of this aircraft has been made possible by major advances in aircraft technology of great significance for both military and commercial applications. Several A-11 aircraft are now being flight tested at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The existence of this program is being disclosed today to permit the orderly exploitation of this advanced technology in our military and commercial program. This advanced experimental aircraft, capable of high speed and high altitude and long range performance of thousands of miles, constitutes a technical accomplishment that will facilitate the achievement of a number of important military and commercial requirements. The A-11 aircraft now at Edwards Air Force Base are undergoing extensive tests to determine their capabilities as long-range interceptors. The development of a supersonic commercial transport aircraft will also be greatly assisted by the lessons learned from this A-11 program. For example, one of the most important technical achievements of this project has been the mastery of the metallurgy and fabrication of titanium metal, which is required for the high temperatures experienced by aircraft traveling at more than three times the speed of sound. Arrangements are being made to make this and other important technical developments available under appropriate safeguards to those directly engaged in the supersonic transport program. This project was first started in 1959. Appropriate members of the Senate and the House have been kept fully informed on the program since the day of its inception. The Lockheed Aircraft Corporation at Burbank, California is the manufacturer of the aircraft. The aircraft engine, the J-58, was designed and built by the Pratt & Whitney Aircraft Division, the United Aircraft Corporation. The experimental fire control and air-to-air -air missile system for the A-11 was developed by the Hughes Aircraft Company. In view of the continuing importance of these developments to our national security, the detailed performance of the A-11 will remain strictly classified, and all individuals associated with the program have been directed to refrain from making any further disclosure concerning this program. I do not expect to discuss this important matter further with you today, but certain additional information will be made available to all of you after this meeting. If you care, Mr. Salinger will make the appropriate arrangement. On Monday, I will release a report by Mr. Eugene Black and Mr. Osborne on the supersonic transport program. This report was submitted to me in December. It makes a number of recommendations uh, dealing with the financing and the management of the supersonic transport program. It has been referred to those government officials concerned for review and comment. On the basis of their analysis, the decision will be made on how the government will proceed.